Thanks, Dominique. Virginia funeral homes may have new way of depositing remains. It's a process known as alkaline hydrolysis, also known as water cremation. NBC 29's Bria Stiff is live in studio to explain how this works. Bria. Senate Bill 1487 in the General Assembly would allow funeral homes in the Commonwealth to use alkaline chemicals to decompose a body. Adding this to the list, which right now includes burial and fire cremation, will give families more options when it comes to the, to the decision of saying goodbye to a loved one. It's not as, as foreign to most people as they might first think. Stephen Christensen is the CEO and funeral director at Hill and Wood Funeral Service in Charlottesville. It is overall very similar to um, cremation in, in a lot of ways. Barbara Kimmis is with the Cremation Association of North America. She explains how this process works. It's a form of disposition um, that uses a, a combination of water and alkali chemicals to uh, increase or speed up the reduction of the human body. Chemist says it's a water intensive process with between 300 to 700 gallons used. The mixture is 95% water and 5% alkaline chemicals. And the result is water, of course, and uh, salts, sugars, amino acids, acids, peptides, um, and that is safe uh, to go into the wastewater treatment um, cycle. According to the Cremation Association of North America, alkaline hydrolysis is legal in 22 states. Well, I think most funeral homes are in, in favor of a, a family being able to choose what's best for them. And so it's just one more offering available to families. In Virginia, alkaline hydrolysis is not being offered yet. Leg legislation is in place, but the state board needs to write regulations. Live in the studio, I'm Bria Stith, NBC 29 News at 6.